Hi everyone, it's Kathy here from Paper Lace Princess. I'm here just to bring you a follow-up to my previous video where I was showing you some of my new finds, some of my new purchases. And I was going to do some projects with those new products. And I've done those projects, so here I am back to show you. So we might break this up into three videos because there are three projects. So the first one we'll get started on was um, this little Kayser Craft paper pad that I had got, uh, the needle and thread, and I also had gone ahead and purchased some of these little wooden um, flourishes, these little wooden embellishments. I did have three, I've only used two of them uh, in my little album, but I, I tell you, it was just, there's hardly anything left here in this, but uh, it was just lovely to work with this little paper pad. And so let's have a look at what I've come up with. Okay, right, so here's the little album. All finished. As you can see, the two little um, dress forms were the little wooden ones. Now all in their glory. So this one here has been inked up. Also, um, I've put a little bit of silver... Um, foil on that, buffed it all back and then gone ahead and inked over it with a, a softer ink. Put some little bead bling here, some little I am roses, roses there. And this little one here, I've just covered that with paper and filed around it and inked the edges up. Put a few little beads at the top, a little bling and some more roses here. Actually, on this one here and the whole cover of this, I've gone ahead and I've covered it with the Studio Multi Matte. This gives you a really good protective coating. So it's going to help protect as well as it gives you a, a really lovely finish as well. I've just got some other little bits of bling and corners and whatnot from my stash. Spine here is just quite simple, just one of the pieces of paper out of the pack. Just put that on the spine, flip the back as it is, and just covered that as I said earlier with the multi mat. Okay, so we'll just open that up. And here we go. Let's start our little mini book journey. Okay, so on the inner cover here, you can see I've just left this little flap so that we can pop in some little tags or other little bits of memorabilia that you might like to pop in there. I've used the Tim Holtz die quite a bit throughout this, this album. It's one of the sewing ones, so I've used the little cotton reel and the buttons here. And I've just done two buttons and um, glued them together over a paper clip to give me that nice little embellishment there. So this one here is a magnetic closure. It opens up to reveal the other die on that set from Tim Holtz. And it's a nice little pocket there. You can pop some photos in there, some matting or uh, matting of some journaling or you could even just match up some memorabilia. Pop that one in there. Next page I've left quite plain for photos or whatever your, your choice might be. Another big deep pocket in here with another one of those nice little button embellishments that I've made. This page here, this was one of my favourite papers actually in the pack and um, it's, it's just lovely. I, I could make a whole book just using that I think. <laughs> so this one here you've got a nice little pocket, some little tags here that I've made, a little old antique um, safety pin, a little antique button there on that one. That's quite cute. They're quite deep too so you would, well, um, it would be able to hold a full size photo there. Um, up here on the top of the page we've got another um, tag area so once again lots more room putting in all your goodies and we open up to this page here we've got a nice little flap pocket here now this little pocket opens up to reveal a little tag which has a tag within the tag so once again lots of room both sides of that we could use it's actually quite difficult trying to get things in one-handedly. There we go. 
So when you open that up, you've still got this whole page here, this whole area to be used up whichever way you would like. Nice little bit of antique lace. I've just inked that with um, the distressed inks, the same as I have all the way around all the pages and all the matting I've done. I've just inked around those. Another one of those little um, cotton reels here. A little bit of thread. I've just wrapped that up. Put a little band of paper around it to look like a little skein of um, embroidery floss there. A bit cute. Open this one up. Another magnetic closure again. Hold some tags in here, just with that little side pocket. It's only, as you can see, it's only glued down a quarter of the way. And on this little side, we've got a little envelope that opens up. Another little tag in there. Lots of fun doing this little album. Okay, so the next page here, we've got this available to us for more photos. Um, two little swing arm tags here, which as you can see, right there, they're quite cute. Just a little bit of antique lace, some more corners, little buttons. And then on this side, what I've done is I've just used some lace as a belly band to home this rather large tag that would hold lots and lots of um, memorabilia on that. So you could also like mat on the back of this as well. So you're, you're tripling up your page space there. Now this one here, we've, I've um, just left that, that side there plain. This one here has just got a little... Um, embellishment here glue and I've only glued that <coughs> excuse me halfway down so that you can just pop in whatever you like there and that, that just holds that nice and securely. We'll open this one up. Now this one's quite interesting. On this this little flap here you've got all these little pocket tags, uh, little tags to hold little pockets rather to hold all of these little tags. So each little pocket has its own little tag. So you've got four in total going up the side there. And then once again over on this side here, another big area. And then that opens up there, it's another magnetic closure. It's a little pocket here, holding another little tag there. So you know really you could fit in so much stuff into this album, whatever you were wanting to use it with. I had a lot of fun designing this one. It's only a small little album. But, um, the pages are only six and a quarter by, say, five and a uh, no, sorry, four and a half. So it's not very big at all. And yet, with all the openings and tags and what have you, it, it just will hold a multitude of um, goodies in there. So the last page here, I've just left a big pocket here. You take all those tags out once again quite a lot of space there to pop in all of your bits and pieces these are just little cutouts from the paper pack I haven't matted those up I kind of like them as they were and I made a little tag out of that one there and the last page all I've done is I've made a giant um, envelope with another one of its little matching button embellishments a little swing arm there and I thought this would be a good idea just to house or home all those bits and pieces that are not going to actually fit into the album but you want to include them in within this space so you've you know you've got plenty of opportunity to do that so I'll just pop that back up on there once again you could put photos on here and on the back no, no reason you couldn't do that um, last of all, this last little page here on the back cover, uh, exactly the same as the front, just able to hold some more little tags and whatnot in there. So closing it up, um, that multi mat just does give it a beautiful, beautiful finish. So that was my little album, guys. I hope that you've enjoyed that. If anybody, <coughs> excuse me, if anybody has any questions. Please don't hesitate to inbox me and um, I'll be happy to reply. 
Okay, stay tuned and we'll have number two coming up very soon. Bye.